right, guys, Shotty T here with another video. It is day four versus. Got a lot of stuff going on today. Ghost Ops has come back. I have already done most of my missions. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool. You get some nice rewards. You get bonus rewards if you fulfill the, the special criteria. So this particular group needed two four-star atoms that were at least level 120 and three four uh and two and one three-star Fiona. Of course, I had the Fiona, had the Atom, then had a teammate fulfill the other Atom mission. So I was guaranteed gonna get this, but there'll be a special mission where this box will yield one of these rewards. So and including some drone parts so and when these when the time is up you want to collect them on time because just like these secret mobile squads they can be looted by others so make sure you are around if you're going to dispatch stuff just to kind of give you an idea of the history i've been plundered um like the first week that happened i got plundered four times today only got plundered once I was a little late on recovering, but I will stay up long enough to recover that particular one. But let's talk about other stuff that's going on. So we have the introduction of Carly. Um, she is she has her exclusive weapon. Now the battle pass is nineteen ninety nine, and you know me, you know I'm gonna get it. It's nineteen ninety nine. Again, you don't have to spend it, which is totally fine. I, I get it. But, you know, if it's it's just a purchase. It's just a purchase. It's not I'm not spending 100 bucks. It's 20 So there's a, a boost that she has, a frost boost, increased damage to zombies by 10%. Um, yeah, so... That's one thing, and then some skills that are added with these exclusive weapons. So let's take a look at it. When Carly is present, she further reduces all enemy auto attack damage by 12%. So just by unlocking the first level, she makes your team more tanky as a result. So your back row units, especially if you have an all aircraft squad with DBA, um and what's his name uh morrison and shyler that'll make them do more damage now some people will like like to put kimberly uh they sneak in a kimberly take out shyler and have dva and morrison back back we just edit that part out there uh still dealing with this code here so but yeah makes your team more tanky the second level uh when carly uses her tactic she Attacks one back row enemy dealing physical damage equal to 306% of the attack and reduces the target attack by 15% for five seconds. So, of course, there's RNG involved with that. So sometimes she can attack the wrong back row person. But if, if someone has a Kimberly, she can reduce that attack for five seconds. That's pretty big. All right. And then the third is kind of like a basic one for a lot of people at level 20. Boost all aircraft heroes attack, defense, and HP by 7%, 7.5% in all battles. So there's that's the whole time. So always that magic number of level 20. I don't have level 20 on any of my champs yet. All right, and then when Carly fails, uh, when Carly falls, sorry, she summons Pebble, reducing all enemy attack damage, auto attack damage by 8%. And it doesn't say for how long, so it's just after she dies. So so it's kind of like, uh, yeah, that, that's, I mean, I like these here. And also attacks one back row enemy, kind of kind of similar to this level two thing, 15%, uh, uh, reducing their attack by 15%. But it doesn't say for how long, though. It's, it's permanent, so... Yeah, uh, get to level 30, which I probably won't get there until 2026. I get, I get enough just to unlock them, but to get to level 30, just to give you an idea, I'm putting all my exclusive weapon generic stuff to Kimberly, and she's only at level 19. I don't even have enough of these generic things to get her to level 20. 
I can't wait till I get a level 20, though. That's going to make my team a lot better. So I'm really close. I might get it today or I might get it. Uh, sure. So, yeah, um, I believe. Yeah, I should be to get more of those. So we got that. Also, this is the day you want to now, depending on your alliance, depending on your versus matchup this week. You have your legendary hero badge where you can use. Now, of course, let me let me back up. You have to be in season two. I know a lot of people wonder, how, how do you get that? You have to be in season two. Now, season one, you can use that legendary hero badge on Mason, which is relevant for that season. But for season two, it is for Violet. So the first criteria is that you have to get your furnace to level 30. OK, you get your furnace to level 30. By upgrading these alloy factories and producing more alloy to, to keep upgrading. And remember, we talked about this at the beginning of the season. In order for you to increase your uh, coal output, which increases those alloy, form, al alloy farms, you have to uh, destroy, you have to move up the chain with the Doom Elites as well as the zombies now me personally i still have not gotten i have to finish level 60 um which i probably will do it today get it out of the way uh but yeah that's how you get to level 30 so once you get to level 30 you go to season season again you hit your goals all right and then for individual you scroll all the way down to the bottom now these are all free milestones. You don't have to pay to unlock any of these. So you get all the different codes and that stuff, you know, professions, change certificates, uh, season skill points, uh, uh, profession skill book resets. But then at the very bottom, you get the legendary hero badge. You get 10 of these new era recruit tickets, which we'll go ahead and open in this video. And you get an extra emoji you can use in the chat. And don't forget to collect your alliance rewards. The longer your furnace stays on, the more you get these. And this is a milestone here, a, a random legendary survivor. So let's see who that is. All right, so we'll check that out. Let's check that out real quick. And there's one other thing that I need to announce, but let me go here to this survivor. Let's see who this is coming to our gate here. And we are feeling much better than we were this morning. Hopefully, uh, boost the iron output. Okay, that's fine. I need gold output, crafting speed. Let's go ahead and greet these visitors. Yeah, and don't forget to feed your dog. Of course, um, you, de you never, never want to. You want to. You want to feed your dog. Uh, let me go ahead and collect this stuff here. To I almost got all the boxes. So yeah, feed your dog. All right, and what was the other thing? Um, yeah, brain fart there. All right, the campaign is reset, so make sure you start on that. But that was not what I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah, the tickets. Yeah, so let's go to these tickets here. I clicked on the wrong building. These tickets. So if you can recall, and I've already opened up my other tickets, but these tickets here... And actually, I get a chance to get a guaranteed thing here. All right. So let's go to the drop rates. So you get these legendary. There's a 0.5% where you get 10, uh, like a, a 10 box. So I'm going to get a lot of these today. That'll get go a long way towards getting the Kimberly to 100 of those generics. I have... 60 yeah 60 at the moment if i get really lucky i can get it right now but i highly doubt it more than likely i'm going to get one of these two bottom prizes which is fine i will take or i will take skill points but hopefully we can get out of these 10 tickets hopefully we can get i'm not going to be greedy let's see if we can get three of those legend of those skill shards let's see can we get three? That's it. Got one. There's two. There's three. And look at that. It pays to be humble. We got six. We got double what we asked for. 
Hey, that's that's actually not bad. So we got six of these. So now we are six away from getting Kimberly to that next level. Uh, or 34 away from getting Kimberly to that next level. Okay. All right, so we got the ghost ops. All right, we talked about that. Um, we have talked about making sure that you don't leave your kids out there. And we've also talked about the violet shard. The last thing we're going to talk about is faction. We talked about this previously. It has been revealed. We are on the Jinder Marie side and we will be partnered up with Alliance 245, 257 and 258. So 250, 245 we're definitely familiar with from seasons past, uh, but they're allies with us. 257 is also a pretty strong uh, server. Uh, this Eternal Alliance is pretty, pretty strong. Uh, yeah, ZLN is also. So we definitely want to uh, be cooperative with them. And you get inbox rewards for this. All right, so glad to be allies. So 257, let's join forces in the upcoming Rare Soul War, which will start in a few days. Looking forward to that. So if you guys remember the rules, uh, there will be a, I think you saw the update that I sent out. That Yeah, that was early this morning, actually. Spence, today been a long day, by the way. Um, let's see. Yeah, we talked about that there. The Warlord uh, preparing to launch. Other commanders can continue, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it, it wasn't there. It was another one. Just check out one of the previous videos. But now we have the rewards that are official with the tier changes, which, like I said, I really love that, that they extended it to the top 50 for that tier that we just missed out on. Actually, we moved up a tier because we were in the sixth tier, but now we're in the fifth tier. So hopefully we can stay there before this season is over because it's going to be a lot of moving and shaking as the weeks progress. So the territories that you got right now, uh, you might want to cooperate with some other alliances within your server to kind of interchange protection so so it's all about teamwork and communication so we are almost about to fill in the center of the map and that is a visual glitch by the way this entire row it just anytime i record a video it doesn't show everything there it is so we got four more cities left to take and then we got the nuclear furnace in the middle so the faction and also if you Look at people that are allies. You'll see that it's a different color. You see there's light, it's like baby blue. So you got baby blue for allies. So let's, for example, let's go to a faction that is on the other side, uh, which I believe 240 is one of them. So let's look at 240. Well, it kind of lets you know right there who are the rebels. So uh, we can teleport now. Oh, snap. We can teleport to the other war zone now. I wonder, can you attack people? Can you attack people? Can you take over territories? Let's see. We're learning. We're doing this on the fly, guys. I just want to see something here. Not adjacent to territory. So I guess there will be more to come as that happens. Can I attack someone? Well, let's just see. I'm just curious. Now, I'm going to try not to attack someone that's in the Power power 10 Alliance. Just going to find like a random person that's not in an Alliance and see if I can attack them. You guys get a chance to see this live in person. But, but the main thing I want to show you is that people that are not in your faction is going to be the opposite color. So you see the light, the light red there throughout but let's find someone that's not in the alliance okay uh well this person is frozen let's find someone that's actually in a territory uh an actual city 
Uh, yeah, let's see if we got someone that's in this city that's not in an alliance that I don't have to break the ice. Okay, can we attack this person? Can we attack him? You cannot. Okay, let's see what it says. That was quick. You cannot attack other commander bases. Jesus, can we? Let me read it. On non war days. Okay, so let's say you can only attack on Saturday. So I'm guessing. So on Saturday, things are going to go down. That's what it looks like. So if you are in a enemy buster battle with um, a powerful matchup, you can also use this tactic to hide from people by going to another server and just chill out there. But keep in mind, you are susceptible to get hit. Ideally, you probably want to hide in a server that's on in your same faction so you can have kind of like a little safe zone. But yeah, um, exciting times, guys. Um, let's make sure I put my base back where I was uh, right there. OK, so just to kind of recap, we have the faction that has been assigned in our pod. We also have the Violet um, Legendary Ticket Token that is available, but use those skill points and shards wisely, especially when it comes to your versus matchup. Because like I said, our matchup is pretty uh, one-sided all week. So you kind of kind of uh, hoard and sandbag some points until it matters the following week. That's like an advanced tactic there, by the way. So you got that, and you also have the Ghost Ops, and I believe the Ghost Ops is for everyone. doesn't matter what season that you're in, and don't leave your kids out in the street. So that'll do it, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and I will talk to you later.